Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, on tea is back. Welcome to Third Eye Champagne. I am Kirsten Langston, author and intuitive. Uh, I want to say thank you very, very, very much for your time, your patience, your advice, your, um, you know, your offerings of help and everything. It's been amazing. Um, for those of you who don't know, it's been a rough, <laughs> been a rough time period for me. And I, you know, I didn't realize how bad it was. You know, um, I didn't realize how bad it was. <laughs> I was gonna be honest. I had no idea how sick I actually was, um, but I was really effing sick, mostly from the allergic reaction. Um, I mean, a UTI is a UTI. You know, like it. You know, but uh, I'm I'm on the mend. So here I am. We have a lot to cover. I have been absent for quite a while which, much to my chagrin, I think we can time any sort of inconvenience to me, whether it be death or illness. Um, or, you know, I don't even know what, I think those are the only things that have stopped me, but it seems like it always times up with uh, stuff happening with Trump and like, and, and America and like, oh my God, we need to read on this, you know? And then there, where's Kirsten? Oh, she can't make it. Somebody died. <laughs> you know, she can't make it. The doctor's screwed up and, you know, uh, allergic reaction city. So, um, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm on the mend. I'm back. I'm wearing my Ben Sherman sweatshirt. Hello, Brits. How are you? Uh, <laughs> let's take a peek at some things. So we got a lot going on. So, uh, I am, I'm leaving for New York tomorrow and I'm going to be there for quite a long time. So, um, this is probably going to be a two-parter this week and then we'll get into next week. And then, um, I have a trip report coming up the week after that. Patrons, I appreciate your patience. Um, patron exclusive stuff. I'm going to try to do a live stream while I'm in New York. It depends on the Wi-Fi where I'm staying, and it depends on whether or not these readings wipe me out, but I really want to do one for you guys. So uh, that would be obviously at the $5 tier, five and above, do a five by five live while I'm in New York. That would be on East Coast time. So um, we're gonna give that a shot, but we'll see. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. And I had this whole big spooky Halloween thing Casey and I were gonna do. Uh, I'm trying to get him up to Santa Cruz with me um, so we can do haunted Santa Cruz but that was supposed to be my whole month it was gonna be big scary haunted stuff and instead it was big scary medical stuff <laughs> but I'm still above ground and breathing so I count that as a win all right my darlings I missed you I missed you and hence my my two health update readings like what kind of a jackass gets on camera when she's in the middle of an allergic reaction I don't know I just want to let you guys know what was going on that was like in my I was like oh I gotta let him know <laughs> who knows where this is gonna go I like what am I thinking who knows okay I have patreon all the way down here I have patreon down here I've got questions down here there are 72 responses to what do you guys want me to read the Q&D on so obviously I'm not gonna read 72 separate things a lot of it is the same, but I'm going to go through it and uh, see what we've got here. I, I know what we're looking at um, is it's going to be Brexit. I know we've got a big Saturday coming up. Uh, big Saturday coming up. Billy Bragg called it Schrodinger's Saturday because he goes, we don't know if Brexit's going to be dead or alive. We don't know. We don't know. Um, I thought it was funny. Anyway, we've got we've got a Super Saturday coming up here for Super. I use the term very loosely for the Brits. We have uh, a lot going on with Canada and Trudeau, and who the hell knows what's going to happen there. We have a general election on the twenty first, and we have America soiling its pants. So that's what we're looking at. That's what's going on. And of course, um, we have Turkey. We have the Kurds. We have Putin. We have all of this stuff happening. So we're going to get into it. I'm going to get into it. I'm going to do it right now. See my sign? The witch is in. The witch is in. The bitch is in. We're both in. So I'm just going to do a general look at what's happening as far as American government. Just want to see what comes out. And then I think a lot of this reading I'm going to be 
free ball in it. So I think it's going to be off cards. I think it's going to be without cards. I'm just going to kind of be picking stuff. Because I was already picking stuff up. Oh, that's why I did that damn video. Now I'm going, oh yeah, because I was picking up all this crazy stuff when I was looking at Twitter. And I was like, might as well get on camera. Uh, but then I got really sick after that. <laughs> what an ass. What an ass. Uh, Third Eye Champagne store is open, so if you want a Third Eye Champagne t-shirt, cruise on over to thirdeyechampagne.com. All my books are for sale up there. And I'm going to be doing some other some other merch. But if you want a Third Eye Champagne t-shirt, cruise on over there and get it. I'll put something at the end of the video for you. And Patreon is always open. We're always open. We're always taking new beautiful patrons. And, P.S., if you want a reading with me. The only way I'm doing them right now, aside from the joint readings with Eliza, which have sold out in like 10 minutes, uh, is an email reading, and that's if you're a patron. So if you want a reading with me, it's one question, email reading, depending on what tier you're on, it depends on what price you pay, because certain tiers are discounted. Ooh, guess what else? Guess what else? I got a treat for you guys. When I get back from New York, when I get back from New York, Linda G and I are teaming back up and I could not be more excited. I'm telling you guys, the Senate's going to come around. They keep giving me this when I read on this. So as far as, as the United States government goes, as far as what we're looking at here, it... Scoot in. <laughs> um, it, I'm telling you, we're going to get some bipartisanship. I'm telling you, it's coming. It hasn't come yet. It's coming, but it's coming soon. We've got the moon here, so it's showing me within a month or two months. Something's coming. Uh, and Lynn, our whistleblower is here. Hello! So this guy came out again. So this is big. And I think, of course, you know, you have all these distractions going on. Oh, the G7's going to be at Trump's golf course. I mean, we always knew that was going to happen. It was it was bound to happen. Is it, is it that astonishing? I mean, I think if you're, if you're astonished by that at this point, your head has been up your asshole for too long. Get it out of there. Get it out. Get it out. Uh, but <laughs> we have our whistleblowers. <laughs> cracking myself up over here. Gotta remember to hydrate. You gotta keep that urinary tract smooth and free, kids. Smooth and free. <laughs> These cards, jeez Louise. It's all what's going on in America. We get this guy. I mean, if this doesn't say it all, you don't have to read cards to know what this guy, look, he is a mess. This is, guy is a hot, hot mess right now. There's more to come, ladies and gentlemen. There's more to come as far as what is happening here. Oh, Trump's in the home environment. Look at this. I mean, you can't beat these cards. These cards are singing, baby. These cards are singing. Uh, there is more information coming out. So we have, I'm very excited about this. <laughs> We've got information. Um, there is a disinformation campaign and then there is the information campaign. So there's more coming. There are more cups to be offered. We have these four, three cups. We know what's in them. We know we, we like them. The whistleblower is in this cup. I think these are, might probably look like more whistleblowers. I mean, I think I said that before they were saying there was going to be more whistleblowers. I was like, there's more. Um, there's more. So listen, this is what we know we have. And then we're going to get another offering here and we're going to look at it. We're going to be like, you know, like a dog looking at a treat, like, Rrr. Um, so there's this, and then there's also this, which is the misinformation campaign, which is lies, illusions, delusions. It all comes very quickly. So keep looking for it to come very, very quickly between now, November. And again, I know I've said this before. I'm going to say it again, that Mercury retrograde is going to be a very big deal as far as American stuff goes, as far as information goes. So then Trump's in our home environment. It's all very depressing. And then we have the page of swords information coming out. And then we have celebration. So look at this. Look at this. I mean, not only are these cards of like brotherhood and like we're all joining together and you know, the healing can begin. Um, that's going to take a very long time, by the way. But it it's also like, okay, bipartisanship. I'm telling you, the Senate will have no choice. It's going to get very dirty, very ugly. They're, they're not going to be able to get out of this. They're not, I mean, you know, people like Matt, Matt the drunk driver. 
I forget his last name. Matt the truck driver. DUI Matt. Uh, I, I think he's a rep. I think he's a rep. I don't think he's a senator. You know, he was like, oh, I'm going to sit in on this meeting. And they were like, you moron, you can't sit in on this meeting. People like that. People like uh, the, the idiotic cries in the shower, Dingleberry, Devin Nunes. I know it's Nunes. It's Nunes. I know because I'm a Portuguese. Um, people like that will go down with the ship. McConnell. Now he, see, here's what's really interesting about McConnell. He may not go down with the ship as much as he's, you know, standing firm with his waddle waddling and whatnot. Um, it, he's, he's, uh, I just keep cracking myself up. It's been a long time since I had a good time, you guys. So you're just going to have to bear with me and be happy with a very happy auntie. Um, he may flip, he may switch cause he's in trouble. And I said this before, there is, there is stuff and I feel this on him. So I feel McConnell and behind him is garbage. Like it's literally garbage. So I, I see this, well, it's not literally garbage. I mean, I see garbage in my mind's eye, but, but what it is, it's, it, it's his garbage. I mean, it's, it's his mess and he has a big mess behind him. He has done some very bad things. The wife has done very bad things. This we know, but it's this close to coming out. Like, it's like, you know, when a zit is like almost ready and you're like, I want to pop it, but you're like, I can't pop it just yet. And you know, for now, you know, we have now disgusting analogies, but, um, you know, it's just, you're like, if I wait one more day, that's McConnell at that point. We're waiting one more day so his zit will explode, okay? I'm telling you. So will he flip on Trump? Will he be like, you know what? Let's hang the bastard. Yes, it is entirely possible. I'm not saying it's going to happen just yet, although I think it might. Uh, but I feel it. I feel McConnell and he's, he's wavy gravy. He's like this. He's like, oh, I don't know. So he's not, to me, standing firm, feeling firm. He's not. Um, I, I have to say, speaking of, you know, reading on this stuff, I was really surprised when I did that reading and I said Pelosi was going to move because at that point it was around March when she was like, we're not impeaching, please. And then it happened and I'm still shocked by it. I'm still shocked by it. Um, I think they are going to drop articles of impeachment fairly quickly, by the way. Um, fairly, fairly quickly. It, it, It's, it, they want to move, but they don't want to screw it up. So it, it's, and they don't want, they don't, they want it to be watertight, right? They want it to be a frog's ass, watertight. Like, and it's not quite there for some reason. And it may be quite there, you know, objectively, but they might be like, no, 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 we have to, you know, we have to make sure. But they are going to write up articles of impeachment fairly quickly. Let's take a peek here at the first, this is, really just lean down and pick it up here. Why not? Let's see what we've got here. The Kurds. Okay, let's look at the Kurds. I wonder if I can fit you over here, Mr. Mr. Computer. Yeah, I can. Poor planning on my part. I sort of can. Doesn't want to be charged at all, but I'm gonna trip over this later. <laughs> Okay. All right, so what are we looking at here? Natalie says Canada, yeah, we'll get there. Heidi says, is the removal this weekend? Um, I, I don't think you're seeing Trump leaving anytime soon. Um, the Kurds, we'll look at the Kurds. Rudy and his two friends. <laughs> and then he's like, I don't know those people. Here's the video of him knowing those people. Oh my God. Oh, these idiots, idiots. 45 is melting down. Yeah, he's losing his mind. Christy says, what do the guys want us to know right now? Yeah, we'll do a message at the end. Is Pelosi going to be acting president? Normal elections. I also have a bunch of emails, by the way, of questions uh, that you guys have sent me that I'm going to get to. I promise, promise, promise. I'm so backed up. Just... Dude, all this health stuff, I'm like, I want to look at K-pop. I want to look at aliens. We'll get there, I swear. It's just going to take a little bit longer. Lindsey Graham. Oh, yeah, that's another good one. Let's look at the cards right now. Show me the cards. Show me the cards. You know, um, I had uh, quite a few people suggest that I was getting sick a lot because I was, quote-unquote, channeling Trump. Um... 
I don't think that's the case. I don't, I don't think that's the case, but I also am sticking by the, what I said last time that I did the deep dive on him, which is I'll never do it again. Um, just reading from a distance, he's, he's, feels, this is weird, but he feels more evil, literally evil than he ever has to me before. Ever. Ever. I don't, I don't even want to touch him anymore. You know what I mean? I don't even want to go there. It's the energy around him has gotten considerably worse. Show me the cards. There's the war card right there. All right, let's see what we've got here, guys. Well, cards are definitely singing today. It looks like they're gonna, um, this is not good. Um, this is them right now, this is on top of them right now, the card of sorrow fight is above that here. It looks like they're going to be forced to um, to settle. I mean, they're going to be forced to have some kind of a peace agreement, something. They're going to be forced into it, which is what was wanted all along. Um, yeah, it's not It's not good. And, and um, you know, they're going to want their vengeance against the United States. And I don't know what form that's going to take. I don't know. Um, I don't see them all being wiped out. I don't see anything, you know, like that. Uh, looks like they make some kind of an uneasy piece with, I don't know who, who, um, Turkey, Putin, Assad, I don't know, but there's this uneasy, they have to kind of just say, okay, you take whatever you want. Um, but, but they do survive. What else can you show me about what's going on over there? And they will want some kind of retribution from the United States. I don't know what, what form that will take. I don't know. I don't, I have no idea. And we'll, we'll jump over and look at ISIS. Yeah, they have to broker a peace. They're gonna be slaughtered. They're gonna be wiped out. They have to broker a peace. They have to. Yeah, it's all over here. It's all over here. They're going to have to surrender. Um, they're going to just have to take it. I mean, in a way, like there's nothing much else to do at this point, which is really unfortunate. Although it looks like there's monetary aid coming in. There's monetary aid coming in at some point, quite a bit of it actually, quite a bit of it. So whether this is, you know, the next president makes retribution um, or, or, or makes, you know, um, amends monetarily, but there is money that comes in at some point that helps quite a bit. But right now, uh, these people will be killed, these people will be slaughtered, um, these people will be taken over. They will, I mean, they, they will be taken over. So. We need to take a peek at Giuliani. Kathleen says, let's look at Giuliani and his buddies. Uh-huh, okay, Putin's game plan. 
Tulsi Gabbard. Oh, she's a Russian asset. I'm telling you guys, the, the evidence is like, it's right there for you. You can go Google it. You can look it up. It's real. I swear to God. I swear to God it is. All right, Luke Giuliani. Oh, Pam's got all the, great. Pam's got everybody listed here. Perfect for, for the Canadian uh, election. Uh-huh. Oh, Nancy P straight up said Trump's need our prayers because he's melting down. Yeah. Oh, look at this dude's got a list. Mulvaney. Can you believe Mulvaney just admitted to the quid pro quo? Pro I can't even say it. I can never say it, but you know what I mean. He just admitted to it today. He's like, yeah, we did that. I remember grinding my feet in Eddie's couch. Okay. Like, Jesus. I mean, how? How? Recession, Gail wants to know about the economy. Oh, Mystic Chic says, yay, I hope you're feeling better. Yes, I am. Ramon wants to know if Trump will have a nervous breakdown and end up in a rubber room. I mean, if there's a God. And Pence, I know there's stuff going on with Pence too. Lee's got some good questions here with the cards. Okay, so I'm going to stick with this. Um, I want to look at what's going on with ISIS. And then let's see what's else. what else is going on in that area. I'll look at the nukes. Margaret says, did Rump <laughs> give Syria to Putin for his birthday present? I think, I think he's fast-tracking things because he knows he's out on his ass soon. His nasty, nasty, nasty ass. Okay. I, I, I mean, broad picture is this. I think you're going to see the Kurdish people having to, to, to move or be subjected to basically essentially Russian rule. Um, I think there will be a fair amount of ethnic cleansing, but I don't think they're going to completely erase people. Uh, it, it's not going to be pretty. It's going to be real, real, real nasty. Really nasty. I mean, we know that, right? We know that. But I'm saying there's no silver lining. There's no... It's. I feel the same way reading on this as I do when I read on ICE when it was just, you know, the whole... I mean, even back in 2017 when I was reading on that, I said, it's going to get really ugly. And it's just the same kind of defeated feeling but they eventually come back from it they actually eventually come back from it and like i said there's monetary aid coming through at some point and i don't know if it's aid or if it's like again if the u.s is like we have to give you money now um but there's it, it comes through the sanctions of course do nothing we know that oh go over there there yay all right yeah, they're good. There's going to be an exodus. There's going to be an exodus as far as the Kurds go. Again, peace. This has come up every time I read on them. They are going to have to make peace. They're going to have to just... There's Trump at the top of it. Look at this. Look at Trump's here. He's hitting the cards. So he's stupid. I mean, we, we knew that. But I'm saying, like, he's here with that illusion delusion card. This... He does not... He doesn't have a clue. He's gone. Elvis has left the building, my friends. He's done. He's gone. He's toast. So he didn't know what he did. He's, he's clueless. I'm telling you this. He is absolutely friggin' clueless. Yeah, this is going to be ugly. I mean, they're, they're going to kill mothers. They're going to kill babies. It's going to be really ugly. It's going to be really ugly. And, and, and they, they do end up ousted, wandering. Where do we go? What are we going to do? Um, it's not pretty. It's not pretty. So let's see what the big plan is here with this Turkey, Syria, Putin crap. Yeah, Trump's flailing. Um, I don't want to read on him too much, but he's, he's absolutely flailing. So he's very easily taken advantage of right now. So it's not a lot of it is not 
you know, he's he's like the Oprah of World War III, you know, like you get a war and you get a war and you get a war. He's not, that's not what he's really doing. I mean, part of it is that who's ever really in charge, it's not him. They're accelerating some kind of a plan because they know he's about to be out on his nasty, nasty ass. But he personally is so cuckoo bananas at this point that he... Um, he's, he's, these people are, are really easily taking advantage of him. Oh, you want troops in Saudi Arabia? Sure, here you go. It's running through somebody. I think it's Jared Ivana, um, Ivanka, but it's, it's being run through other people. He's not making any decisions, and Pence is, Pence is kind of in the dark on a lot of this stuff, to be honest. They're keeping Pence in the dark quite a bit. So it's not Pence making decisions. It's not Bannon making decisions remotely. It's, it's, it's people around him. I think Miller is, is one of the biggies. But there are accelerated decisions being made, but also any, any moron could call Trump up right now and say, hey, you know what I really want? Will you send over 500,000 cheeseburgers to, you know, to my castle in, in Transylvania? Will you, would you do that? And he'd go, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he'd like get on the phone and be like, hey, we got to send, uh, we got to send Count Dracula a bunch of cheeseburgers. Like he would do it. Okay. That's where he is. So show me the big deal here. Show me what's going on. Uh, Putin honestly wants to leave the West alone. He doesn't want to mess with the West. So he wants, but he wants to completely take over the East. He's not interested too much in world domination, just partial world domination. So, you know, we've got that going for us. I think there's going to be an assassination attempt on um, Turkey. What is his name? Er Erdogan? Erdogan? What is his name? Why do I know? I never know anybody's name. And I'm not an ignorant person, but I can never remember the names. But I think there's going to be an attempt on his life at some point. Like gun, bullet, for sure. Putin, I, I know Putin doesn't die a natural death, but I don't know how he dies. But this guy, gun, bullet, attempt, assassination, for sure. Yeah, they want war. They just want war. I mean, this is, this is the point. Emperors here, they want war. They want what they want, what they want, what they want. That's it. Trump again at the top of the reading. Yeah, they want to win. That's it. I mean, this is this is very basic 101 toxic masculinity, you know, toxic narcissism. They just want what they want. They want to win. All costs. Doesn't matter. What do I want to win? I want to win everything. Why? Because I do. Because I'm a man and I'm allowed to do that. It's not pretty. Um, I believe the nukes actually eventually go to Russia. Nothing, I mean, the, the nukes aren't going to explode. Nobody's going to use them. Like, they're like, no, nothing's going to happen. I think they're, that uh, Turkey's going to keep some. I think Russia's going to get some. That's what I think. I mean, that's what I know. Let's see what else we've got here. Uh, Rebecca says, welcome back. We missed you. Thank you. Endorsement of Bernie Sand. Oh, Bernie. And then the heart attack. Oh, my Lord. Oh, my Lord. Woof. I tell you what, Bernie needs to quit because I can feel that man. He needs to, he needs to drop out. I'm going to be real with you. I can feel, I feel it. Like I, that man is not healed. I'm telling you, he, he should be taking it easy, dude. He should be resting and he's not. He'll run himself right into the grave. He needs to, he needs to drop out straight up. He needs to drop out and, and throw his weight behind somebody else because of his health. It's not good. When is Trump going to be frog marched out or to a mental institute, Amanda says. Oh, Scott Morrison. Bleh. Judy says, how can other countries or allies trust the U.S. ever again? I mean, if we can make Trump an anomaly and impeach the mf -er, I think it'll be okay. If this goes elsewhere, we're in trouble. So many comments. Mulvaney, I can't believe Mulvaney said that. I still, I just can't believe he said that. 
Oh yeah, the two women that testified the testimonies and then Gordon Sondland. Oh no, this is insane. Listen, every, listen, everybody is going to turn on Trump except for a very, very small minority of idiots. A cabal of morons is all that man will have left. I'm telling you this, like, like, who are we looking at? Maria, y Maria Yovanovitch, Fiona Hill, Gordon Sondland. Thank you, Catherine L. Um, they, they're going to vomit up everything. They will give everything, every, all of it, take it. They are going to do sexy, sexy impeachment dances for all of us, okay? They, I, I'm telling you, get your dollar bills out. It's time. They are going to. So a very small majority is going to stonewall. Very small. Just wait. Just wait. Trust me on this. It's, it's, it's going to tumble out. It's going to everything. It's going to everything. I'm telling you, everybody. There's nobody's going to hold back. Once they get called in, and even some of the people that are saying, I'm not going to do the subpoena, I'm not going to do it. They, they're going to come in and, and end up testifying, by the way. Oh, Isis. Let's look at Isis. Fran, Franny the Knitter. Hi, Fran. Uh, do we like the call outs, the shout outs, or should I just not do that? It's just that I'm reading all your comments and I feel like I need to say who's saying them. Um, yeah, let's look at Isis. Oh, I'm such a naughty auntie, splitting it up into two parts. If you can't wait till Thursday, the whole thing is up on Patreon right now at the $2 tier. Come on over and say hi. I want to say a very big thank you to our main sponsor for this program. It's NGT, LOL. Thank you, my darling. You are wonderful. Thank you.